Hey guys, welcome to day 166 of my carnivore journey. I hope you guys are having a good journey as well. Uh, and I have had some people in the comments that have, you know, either had some struggles or asked some questions. I mean, and that's what I want you guys to do. I mean, this is a community We're we're in this together. So by all means, um, any concerns, questions, comments, and then some of you give me suggestions. Some of them are really good suggestions. Some of them I have to, you know, work. It'll it'll take a little time to do some of your suggestions. Um, some of them, the suggestions I may not do. And but you guys have been amazing. I mean, I love you guys. Um, so, you know, one of the things that somebody brought up in the comments, and I told them that I would do this video for them. I mean, it's also a few other people that mentioned it too, but if I get a couple of people and then somebody's really concerned, um, and that was hunger, okay? So I want to address the issue of hunger today, but first we're going to do my update, my daily update. Um, today, I had sort of like three small-ish meals throughout the day. So kind of in 11, 12 o'clock, I ended up having a small bag of pork rinds and a meat stick and some coffee. I don't know. I was in the mood for it. I was at the gas station and I was hungry. I actually was hungry. Um, like hungry, hungry. So, and, and I'll explain after all this, we're going to get into the subject of hunger, but I had that. And then, um, about uh, two hours later or so, I got a couple hot dogs from the gas station, I was like, okay, I could go for a couple hot dogs. Well, then for dinner tonight, I ended up having um, right here. This is a, like a cheeseburger with, with a little bit of shredded cheese on top there, as you've seen. So what I did essentially was I ground some, I did the ground beef. Uh, I think you all know how to do that. Uh, salt, pepper, Maybe some garlic and onion, not a not a lot, but some some basic seasonings like that. And then I drained the excess grease because sometimes I like that hamburger grease, you know, when there's too much, it can get a little. So I drained some of that, and then I took the skillet, threw about four tablespoons of butter, um, a little bit of sour cream, and some heavy cream, and. Um, stirred that up and then I had some shredded cheese. Okay. I, I did a handful, melted it in there, did another handful, melted it. So I made this like almost like a Mac and cheese sauce, right? Like a homemade cheese sauce. And then I added the meat back, mixed it up and put a little bit more uh, shredded cheese on the top. Thing is though, I only ate about a third of it. So I only ate about a third of a pound tonight. I had that and I had four pieces of bacon. And for some reason, I just, no, that was it. That was it. I, I didn't, I just couldn't eat anymore. So, you know, that's, I, I saved the rest, um, put it in the fridge, you know, and so I may have some leftovers. Uh, poop, I had a normal poop. Remember, I, the previous one was a little, you know, semi today, normal. Um, and, and again, felt good today. Felt good. Hunger. This is a real important subject. The reason why it's so important is because I think a lot of people with carnivore, they're, they're struggling with it. Now, there's some really good help out there. Okay, I'm not going to say I know every answer, but I'm just trying to at least give you some basic advice. Now, if you want to look into other things, some people get into priming. Um, and for that, you're probably going to want to go check out Steak and Butter Gal. Like they have a Steak and Butter Gang. They have a whole thing about priming and stuff. And it's helped a lot of people in the carnival world. What I'm, what I'm going to say is when it comes to uh, hunger, I would say this. If you're hungry, like really hungry and it's uncomfortable, like if, you're, if it makes you not happy, then eat. Eat something for sure. Like... Have this is when you want to make sure you you have some bacon that you made ahead of time. Throw you you know. I mean, if you if you go work and you're able to carry bacon, I mean, even if you got to take six pieces of bacon in a baggie or something, and like a little Ziploc baggie, 
and put it in your purse or if you have a, a backpack or you know however you can carry it into work take you some snack bacon and if you start getting hungry eat two or three pieces or just one if you want or you know have one every hour or something you know however you feel is right for you that's the thing like if you ate all six pieces of bacon for lunch and and you're like okay well that that helped me out well there you go there's no right or wrong way you have to learn to listen to your body so if you started carnivore and you're like man I, i'm i'm kind of eating what you're eating josh and i'm following like the amounts you're eating well you may be different than me, you know? So some people might eat two or three times more than me, or you might, you know, I don't know. I just give you guys my amounts. And even then, sometimes people say I'm under eating. Sometimes people, you know, it, it's about right. Uh, it does vary. But if you're hungry, don't don't make this diet miserable for you. If you're hungry, eat. Trust me. I I just, you know, there was just the what this last week, um, I was eating a lot more than normal, but I didn't really gain any weight. I didn't feel like any difference in my pants or whatever. But again, don't stress about it. You don't have to necessarily count calories and all that. Now, on the opposite side. So, for example, when I am up late at night, I have to resist the urge to go and eat something out of boredom or just because it's late at night. And I'm like, and I think about food sometimes. I'm like, hey, you know, eggs sounds good. But if I stop and think, I'm not hungry. Like right now, I know I'm like, I'm recording this late at night. I know I could go and have some eggs. Or I could go warm up some bacon. But then I think about my stomach right now, and, and actually, I'm not hungry. So it's, it's, you don't, so that's kind of the other thing. There's two sides of this. One is if you think you wanna eat, just stop and think about how your stomach feels. Are you, is your stomach growling? Is it like, is it actually hungry? Or is it just you falling into maybe some old, mentality pitfalls right so just think about that now again on the other hand back to what we talked started talking about if you're hungry like today when i was like 11 o'clock or so i was like man i'm actually hungry like sometimes i tell you guys i'm hungry in the mornings but it's like um it's not uncomfortable and it usually kind of goes away after I start sipping on a little bit of water and, you know, I start my day. Well, it it, it wasn't like that around 11 o'clock or so. I actually was hungry. I'd sit on some water and I had some stom- stomach growling. So I'm like, okay. So I stopped at a gas station and I got some, you know, some pork rinds and, and a meat stick. You know, and I got a coffee because, you know, I was like, hey, you know, they had some fresh, you know, coffee you could grind there. So, you know, for me, that's what I'm saying. It's if you're hungry and it's going to make it's making you uncomfortable, eat something, please don't make this miserable. Carnivore, if you, you know, it's it's not hard to do and it's a great diet. You can you can keep yourself full. You don't have to starve. And you're going to feel good. That's the great thing. Okay. So just take my word on it. Um, And you don't even have to take my word, actually. I mean, there's a ton. There's thousands of testimonials. And they'll tell you. You know, a lot of people tell you the same thing. So, all right, guys. We're getting up on day 167. Man, we're getting close to that 180 mark. But we're pulling in within, what, two weeks? So here we go, guys. We're on that home stretch of the six month mark, the end of chapter two, and we will see how everything goes. I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous. I'm all you guys know. Uh, and if you don't know, anytime I get close to those type of weigh in goals and measurement goals, I get I get nervous. Um, it, it's like on one hand, I'm excited. 
to see if I had progress, but I'm also so get nervous because I'm still fat, you know, even though I've lost 60 pounds or whatever, I'm still fat. And I know I got more to go, but it's like how much more, and you know, I mean, you, sometimes you get impatient. I don't know. I'm just nervous. I'm now I'm nervous talking about it. Anyways, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.